Over the last decade, I have taught a lot of beginners how to code. And learning to code is difficult enough on its own, but there are some things that a lot of beginners do that make things even more difficult. So today I'd like to talk about some of those bad habits, what you should do instead, and how you can write better code in general as a beginner. I'm Eric Wise from Skill Foundry, where we teach people how to code the right way. So let's kick things off with what I consider to be the biggest mistake that beginners make. And that is writing code before you think. Written code is an expression of a solved problem. And if you don't think and plan before you start writing code, you are going to create a mess. And it's going to be hard to debug, and you're just gonna get yourself tangled up in knots. And this isn't just beginning coders. I've seen junior developers and mid-level developers make this mistake on the job. So how do you fix this? And the answer is pseudocode and outlining. There are too many beginners who either don't learn this skill at all, or they have an ego, and they think that things are so simple that they can just start writing code without planning it out first. And inevitably, they will get tangled up, they will have bugs that they're having trouble fixing, and it will dominate their destiny forever forward until they learn the lesson. Let me assure you that when you become a professional programmer, there will be tasks assigned to you that are so big and so complicated that you will not be able to complete them efficiently unless you first plan and outline your code. So it's a good habit to get into, and it also gives you a nice fill in the blank kind of style in the beginning so that you can more easily figure out where your problems are. And if you're working with a mentor like me, if you're a Skill Foundry member, showing me your pseudocode allows me to more quickly figure out whether you're solving the right problem or you're just having trouble with the syntax. Now, the next thing you can do to write better code is to name things appropriately. Do not use variables like X, Y, and Z when what you mean is length, width, and height. In fact, there's an old computer programmer joke that says there's only two hard things in computer science, naming things, cache invalidation, and off by one errors. Now, this next thing is not just beginning programmers. I need to pick on mid-level and senior level developers as well. And this is this urge that some people in the profession have to try to cram as much code into a single expression or onto a single line as possible. In fact, I was watching a tutorial by Microsoft the other day that was targeted at complete beginners, and they did something like this. And I thought, wow, here I am, 30 years of experience in programming, and I had to pause the video and really look at that line of code because there was so much happening on it that the mental load was way too high to quickly figure out what was going on and what their intent was. So instead of doing this, please break it into multiple if statements. Please break it into multiple expressions. You will find if you have a bug or you're troubleshooting something that it will be much easier. And also remember that in professional coding jobs, you are writing code for humans, not for computers. And this is because when you write code and ship it to production, it's likely going to be in production for much longer, years even, than it took you to write it. And many other developers are going to end up looking at it and somebody else might have to make changes to it. So err on the side of simplicity unless you have a good reason not to. Continuing with the theme of writing code for humans, not for computers, don't forget to use vertical white space. It is much easier to process code when you use vertical spacing to separate ideas. Use spaces between your variable declaration block and the logic that your function is using. Use vertical white space in between key ideas and concepts in your code, like when you're printing things out. Don't be afraid to make it as readable as possible and group things that are related together. 
there are no prizes for jamming things into as small of a vertical space as possible. Most people are working on good size monitors with good resolution these days, and they can see 20, 30, 40 lines of code at a time. So don't worry about that part. Space it out appropriately. Now as a bonus tip, I'm going to step outside the code writing process, and I'm going to talk about debugging. Very rarely do I encounter a student who after learning about the debugger really takes the time to dig deep and use it effectively. Debugging is one of the most important skills a programmer has, and a lot of IDEs have incredibly powerful tools for debugging that let you pause the code, examine values, make changes, conditionally break. All of these things will make your life much easier when there's something going on in your code that you can't figure out. I cannot tell you how many times I've had a one-on-one -on -one meeting with a student and they can't figure out why something isn't working the way they thought. And as soon as we put a breakpoint in and they see the execution path of the code, they go, oh, you know, I forgot to put this line of code in or, oh, I cleared the screen, but I forgot to pause and ask the user to enter some input before I cleared. So the message just got lost. This is common for beginners and it's all related to debugging. Please spend the time to master the debugger. It is that important. So to wrap things up, none of these tips are particularly complicated to implement. They just require discipline. And trust me when I say that if you do all these things deliberately, your journey learning code will be easier and less frustrating than somebody who does not do these things. And once you become a professional, writing readable code and being good with the debugger is something your peers will really appreciate. Happy coding.